Hello, good afternoon, students. Welcome in our new video. Here we are with a new video of class eight, Mr. Steve Felix. And friends, in that we are in conclusion of chapter two, that is the parliamentary system of government. And today's topic is powers of parliament. Of parliament. And in that we are reading financial powers. So, students. In previous video, we have discussed about powers of the parliament. In that, we have discussed about legislative powers, and we know that legislative powers is that in which the law-making processes is there. The all laws and policies is being made of by legislative powers of parliament, that is Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. And then we have been discussed about powers to control the executive and in parliament. The control the power of control the power to control the executive executive that means prime minister and means council of minister in central and the state that we know ministers and their council of minister prime minister chief minister and their council of ministers so this <coughs> all executive system is handled or tackled or checked by parliament so this is you know powers to control the executive In the powers of the parliament, and now today we are going to discuss about the financial powers. If we see the Hindi of this power and this topic, that is Arthi. Arthi. And that. And you know, financial works and financial powers of parliament. Students in your course book. Page number one ninety three, and heading is there financial powers. So before I start this topic, students, yesterday we have been discussed about two word I have written on the board. That is collimation motion and adjournment motion. This is very important, students. What is collimation motion? Collimation motion is called in, in you know parliament houses, both houses, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. For the discussion about the works of ministers, council of ministers, prime ministers, and all works of executive, all works of government, is checked in and is discussed in calling attention motion. So, discussion about the works of ministers is in calling attention motion. This session is called by. Parliament. So there are two types of motions which are passed by the Parliament to discuss the matters of public importance which need immediate attention. What is motion? Proposals brought before the House for discussion. So two types of proposals can be brought before the Houses, and those may be calling attention motion. And what is calling attention motion? This calling attention motion is passed to draw the. attention of ministers so discussion of ministers what they worked what they did so discussion for that is calling attention motion and what is adjourned motion adjournment motion seeks a suspension of the work of the house to discuss the subject of public interest so the first discussion is first you know motion first proposal is of is of calling attention motion that is discussion of ministers on on various topics and adjournment motion is motion that you know suspends the work of the house to discuss the subject of the ministers so all the work of house uh, get suspended in adjournment motion and after the adjournment and the suspension of the house the discussion about public interest begins and that motion and that proposal is known as adjournment calling motion students very important calling attention motion and adjournment motion calling attention motion is proposal when on a topic or on various topics they are there if there is a discussion between council of ministers opposition party and ruling party so this discussion about the government's work about the minister's work is Proposal is being known as calling attention motion. In 
you know, parliamentary house and adjournment motions is after the suspension of the work of the house, they start the discussion about public interest and this is known as adjournment. So two type of proposals has or have been introduced in houses of a you know, parliamentary system that in that and in that parliamentary attention motion is proposal to discuss with ministers and council of ministers and adjournment motion is after the discussion after the calling attention motion after the adjournment of calling attention motion after the you know uh, suspension and end of uh, ministers work houses starts houses start discussion about public interest and this uh, proposal to discuss about public interest is known as adjournment motion so students now our topic financial powers the financial powers of parliament include control over union budget what is union budget
budget of the government so this you know uh, bill has been introduced and you have to know as an important matter that is into, you know what is financial bill has been introduced to this in lok sabha so the parliamentary may apply for a supplementary budget if the authorized amount is not sufficient so if the amount of the budget again budget which is passed there in lok sabha or the financial bill which is introduced in lok sabha the the collection of taxes the revenue of the government which is shown in lok sabha as the financial bill and and after that you know introduction of that bill government or you know uh, you know house can lok sabha can uh, recognize actual uh, status economical status and financial status of a country you see by you know, by seeing our budget and what is insufficient in that budget what is needed what is lacked in that budget what is what should be added in that budget is checked by is checked by the houses by discussion in the houses and sometimes it is added supplementary budget by the house in the or uh, amount is not sufficient of the budget the salaries of mlas and mps are also decided by the parliament and the salaries of mps and mlas is also decided in parliament now students of page number 194 judicial powers what is judicial powers judicial powers न्याय 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 व्हाट इज जुडिशियल पावर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट द पार्लियामेंट कैन रिमूव द प्रेसिडेंट और द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट थ्रू द प्रोसेस सो इफ वी वुड टॉक अबाउट द जुडिशियल पावर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट जजमेंटल पावर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो देन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड पार्लियामेंट कैन रिमूव द प्रेसिडेंट और द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ इम्पीचमेंट वट इज इम्पीचमेंट स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव टू कैन हिंदी मीनिंग ऑफ इम्पीचमेंट दैट इज महाभियोग महाभियोग इफ यू सी वर्ड बडी ऑन पेज नंबर वन नाइनटी फोर वट इज इम्पीचमेंट द प्रोसेस बाय विच अ प्रेसिडेंट कैन बी रिमूव ऑन द चार्जेस ऑफ ट्रिजन और प्रेवरी इफ सम वन इज इफ सम वन इज elite with the charges of bribery that means corruption any kind of corruption or any kind of uh, faulty works in treasure in you know money in in the economy of our country if there is any kind of steal any kind of you know corruption any kind of you know we can say uh, bribery has been taken so that all, all you know actions should be uh, in impeachment and if somebody if someone president or vice president is doing like that if, if they are doing wrong action corruption so you know parliament can remove the president and vice president by the process of impeachment and it can also remove the judges of supreme court and high court of the different high ministerial courts so by this you know law of impeachment they can be judged and you know high court judge the states at the same time it can also punish a person if he obstructs the functioning of parliament if someone is going obstruction and you know obstacle in or hindrance in the works of parliament so parliament can punish him or her next students we see the powers to amend the constitution if we talk about the powers which is last of parliament parliamentary powers in that we talk about powers to amend the constitution what is amend the constitution powers to amend the constitution that means powers to amend the constitution amend the constitution that means samvidhan samvidhan sansodhan ee tarah ke so our parliament is system our parliament has power to amend and change our constitution if there is any need to change our constitution if there is any demand by public if there is any demand by council of ministers and the government and the opposition ruling party or the opposition party so then we discussion there can be discussion about the amendment constitution there should be 
kind of proposals that would be introduced in, in you know Lok Sabha and then time there would be uh, fresh discussion for amendment in constitution. The parliament is the only constitutional body that has power to amend the constitution of India and this is important as well as only parliament can amend the constitution otherwise no constitution body can do this. Some articles of the constitution are amended by a simple majority. Major constitutional amendments are done with two third majority in both the houses. So, so some time, you know, for, this, for some amendments, for some changes, some time for the parties, elsewhere they are of ruling party, elsewhere they are of opposition party. On, the, on some topics, the common, you know, concept of both of them has been shown there and common, you know, ideologies and common and thinkings about the same topic has been shown there but in some thing, in some topics then there, there had been some you know conflicts and discussions and arguments also and in that cases if there is two upon third two upon third vote of total percent of the member of Lok Sabha so that time the you know we can say the amendment can be you know, introduced or can be passed. So, if there is two upon three more, if you see the enemy, you know, there is a do the high, do the high, you know, human. So, if the two upon three part of members of Lok Sabha are with side or favor of amendment of the constitution, then only this amendment of constitution can be happen. So students, today we discussed about the power of the parliament and in that we discussed about the financial power of the parliament, we discussed about the judicial power of the parliament, we discussed about the power to amend the constitution of parliament and in the next topic we will read about making of laws, how the laws and the policies are made in you know, or, you know, both the houses of parliamentary system, this would read in further videos and students what we have covered today is also important things and for this you have to write summary and in homework and you have to search and you know find out the uh, powers of parliament and how these powers have been implemented in past and present and you know you have to discuss on calling attention motion adjournment motion what is financial year is this in what would be a year as computed for taxing for accounting purposes so that is mainly from April to March so this is you know financial year so some words are there like impeachment you have to know the impeachment that is in the meaning of the Mahaviyo so these words have to be done in homework have to be done some fresh discussion on that with you and with your family with your co-work you know, uh, students and you have to also uh, search these things in you know further computers and you know mobiles that you can uh, understand deeply these topics okay students so for this video it was total and in next video we will meet further for further topic that is making of laws ordinary bill and money bill which is important topic so it takes it would take easily one in one video so that is why today i am going to finish this video if there is any question inquiry about this topic you can ask on my number students till then have a nice day Thank you.